Hey guys, this is iMaster, and today I'm going to be teaching you two things. One, what an RSS feed is, and how to get one on your site, and two, how to get a Google custom search onto your site. Alright, an RSS feed is something that notifies your visitors that are subscribed to your blog when you update your blog. It's like a YouTube subscription. You know when someone up uploads a new video. So, to add one of these to your site, all you have to do is in the iWeb, um, insert button, subscribe to RSS feed, and it's the same iWeb 08, iWeb 09. iWeb 09 users don't do this. This is different, okay? So it's not what you want. Don't click that. Now, first I'm going to show you how to set up RSS feed in iWeb 09. So what you want to do is click right here on the site folder icon and site publishing settings should come up. Right here where it says website URL, simply enter your URL. And the reason you want to do that is so that it doesn't give away any personal information when someone highlights over it. Because if it do, if you do, it it gives you um it gives them when the when the little tooltip comes up, it tells them um your the name that the computer is registered under. So you don't want to do that. Um, in iWeb 08, when you go to File, Save, doesn't do it in iWeb 09, but when you do File, Save, and the little window comes up that you choose where to save it, um, it says enter your website URL, and that's where you want to enter it there. Okay, now I'm going to move on to Custom Search. I'm going to be using Google's custom search and it can be found at www.google.com forward slash coop forward slash CSE. So first thing is you're going to want to create a custom search engine. Um, you will have to have an Gmail account or a Gmail web address, a uh, Gmail email address. So just set that up, log in, and we can get started. All right, search engine name. For mine, I just put iMaster um, search. Search engine description, pretty simple. Search iMaster web, in my case. English, unless you speak another language. What do you want to search? Only sites I select. And then specify a list of sites to search. You just want to enter your um, web address. Okay, select an edition. You want standard edition because that's the free one. Check the I have read and agreed terms of the service. I've read that already. Go ahead and read them. Uh, fix this. And then I think we're good. Then we can click next. Then we can test it out. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I've already tested it. And you can check this box whether you want to or not. Okay, then click finish. Okay, so now you've got it. So now you can go to um, control panel. And start making it how you want to look. Okay. So first of all, sites, you really don't need to mess with any of this stuff. Um, look in fields where you want to start. Okay, now you can have any of these. Um, you can see that they change. They add this right here. Um, you can change the color of it, all that. I, I like the watermark because what it's going to give you is just this right here, and you can add your own background color to it. Okay, now you can customize the page that your um, searches come out on. So for mine, I made it like um, a dark gray so that it fits with the theme of my site. I'll show you that later. Okay, you can add a logo if you want. Um, the URL, upload it to like an image hosting site or whatever. Um, and you can link the logo to a URL so that when they click it, it you know brings them to your home page or whatever. Um, you can set up um, Google AdSense. That's what Make Money is. 
and then you can go to code. Now, this is just like the widgets in HTML snippets in iWeb. You just copy it, go into iWeb, uh, just go ahead and make a blank page. And there's our custom search, okay? Now, let me show you mine. This is mine. It's just that. Um, and I put it behind this nice shape so that it kind of blends in with the rest of my site. Now I'm going to go, go to the website, to my website, and show you what it looks like. Okay, so it comes out like that. Let's search um, fractions. Okay. So, as you can see, this is is what the page looks like now here's what you can cha change at the google website that i didn't really go over because it's not that important one you can change where the ads appear on the page your options are top left and bottom you can change um, right here this is where your logo would go if you had one um, it adds this nice, these nice little buttons, so you can search the web if you don't find what you need, or continue to just search your site. And it, you can format obviously the background color, the text color, the link color, the URL color, and the cached color. Um, not sure what the cached color is, but um, you can change it. <laughs> So, that's just about it. Comments um, on my site or on my uh, YouTube channel page for requests, questions, whatever you need. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.